On Palm Sunday, April 9, 1865, after four long years of fighting, the Civil War was finally drawing to an end. For the last 10 months, Petersburg, Virginia had remained the keystone of Southern hope. Its railways were arteries supplying the Confederacy, and on April 1, 1865, the Union Army smashed through the Confederate lines from Richmond to Petersburg. The Southern Confederate forces, led by General Robert E. Lee, retreated to the south. The Northern Union forces, led by General Ulysses S. Grant, moved quickly, blocking Lee's troops. Lee, redirecting his forces, moved westward, but lost hundreds of his men from fatigue and starvation, something that proved to be more deadly than cannon fire and bullets. On April 8th, the seventh day of Lee's retreat, he made camp in a wooded grove near the small village of Appomattox Courthouse. By 9 p.m. of that evening, cannon fire from the Union forces could be heard echoing across the fields, announcing to the Confederacy that they were surrounded by Union forces. At morning's light, Lee's Confederate troops gathered at the fields and advanced towards Appomattox Courthouse. The Confederate soldiers valiantly fought pushing their way until finally the front lines of the Union troops gave way. The cries of victory from the Southern troops soon filled the air. But no sooner had those cheers died down when across the horizons of the field came a line of blue Union infantry thundering down upon the Confederate soldiers in numbers too great to be challenged. The Union men were soon upon the Confederate troops and they were trapped. There was no way out and it was their place to hold the lines with their own blood. Confederate General Robert E. Lee, realizing the hopelessness of the situation, sent a dispatch to Union General Ulysses S. Grant asking to meet and discuss the terms for surrender and the end of the Civil War. By noon in the small village of Appomattox Courthouse, a building was sought to be used for their meeting place. The home of Wilmer McLean, a merchant and a Confederate veteran of the 1861 Manassas Campaign, was chosen to be the place where the Confederate and Union commanders would meet. General Robert E. Lee arrived first at McLean's house with only one aide at his side. He sat exhausted and silent in McLean's parlor at a marble-topped table. Thirty minutes later, General Ulysses S. Grant arrived with his staff. Grant greeted Lee with a handshake and casual conversation. General Lee pressed forward and asked General Grant to write down the terms of surrender for the Confederate Army that would end this terrible war. Seating himself at an opposite table, General Grant took pen in hand and wrote out the Union Army's well-rehearsed terms of agreement. The agreement allowed the Confederate troops to be paroled and turning in their weapons to the U.S. government, and individuals owning their own horses were allowed to keep them as they would be returning home in time for spring planting. News of the surrender at Appomattox Courthouse, April 9, 1865, spread rapidly as soldiers of both sides wept with exhaustion and were grateful to be alive. Relief was universal as the tension and constant fear of death released its icy grip from the shoulders of both the Union and Confederate armies. <laughs>